Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Marquita here. Um, today is actually the solar eclipse day. So it is Monday. Hopefully you will be seeing this on Monday as well. But um, I am here to talk about the Sephora sale. So not only are we having a solar eclipse, we're having a Sephora sale. So we are doing two awesome things happening at once. So the Sephora sale actually started technically yesterday for those who are um, Rogue members. So first of all, if you're not familiar with Sephora um, sales, you need to be a rewards member, which is free to join. And they have three tiers, Insider, VIB, and then Rogue is the top tier. So with being a top tier Rogue member, you get first access a lot of times to special sales and of course other benefits and perks. Um, I am actually a VIB, so I'm in that second tier. And for VIB and Insider um, Rewards members, our sale actually starts tomorrow, which will be April 9th. So um, that's why I hopped on today. So I can talk about what's probably going to be in my cart if it's still available. So that's what sucks about not being able to um, get first dibs is that sometimes all the good things or not so much good things, but the, the most wanted or highly desired things are sold out before you even get a chance to access the sale. Now, the rankings for the sale are 20% off if you're a Rogue member, 15% off if you're a VIB, so that's me, and 10% off if you're an insider. So just being a rewards, rewards member, you automatically get 10% off. So I'm in that 15% off category. And so I like to use this time to, sometimes I use the sales for re-ups, um, to, you know, things that I really like and I want to grab them at a discounted price or if there are new products that I've been waiting to try, um, especially on the pricier end, then I wait for the sale so I can get a, save a little coin, get a little discount. Um, so for me, I just want to talk about what's going to be in my cart. So again, if it's not sold out already. So these are things, some of them are things I already have or have used before. And then other things are first timers for me that I just want to try. Um, and I also have a few maybe like backup suggestions. What I am planning on doing is just kind of setting myself a budget. So my budget is between $200 and $250. That's why I'm going to keep it um, because I am in the process of doing what I call clear the stash. I have lots of skincare and makeup items and I want to, you know, really get to them and use them. So there's no need of continually bringing in things and not. Uh, being able to get to them and use them. So right now I'm good on the skincare. So I will be picking up a couple of things, but for the most part, I want to pick up things I don't actually have um, either in that category or I just don't have that brand or whatnot. So let's hop into what's going to be in my Sephora carts or what's waiting in my cart to get checked out. Um, at first we'll start, and these are in no particular order, but first I'm going to start with the um, Laneige Berries and Cream Kisses set. It's $26 and you get a full size lip balm and then you also get a small size um, lip mask. Now, I got a similar set that came out um, around Christmas, I think it, or for the holidays, it was part of the holiday sets and just to try it out and it was the berry lip gloss and then it was the, like I think it was pineapple or you know, yellow container, small lip mask that I use it, that I apply like at night before I go to bed. Now, that was my first time trying the products. Like, I knew that, you know, they're all, they're very hyped up. And a lot of people do love them. One of my besties, like, she loves, loves, loves the mask. Um, so I was like, you know, let me give it a try. Purchased it for, um, I think it was on sale at the time. So I think it was only about 20 bucks when I got it. And it's not a bad deal because the look boxes by themselves are close to $20. So the fact that you get the little mask piece um along with it is great it's actually a great deal i really did like the berries and this particular set as you can see has the the berry the same berry lip gloss so i'm already familiar with that and so the only thing that's different is still a lip mask with a different flavor so it's like a chocolate um flavor so i decided to go ahead and give that a try i feel like this set came out for around valentine's day so that's where it came from. But again, 26 bucks, not a bad deal. And I will say that a little bit goes a long way. And the mask, even though it's that super small container, it lasts a quite a good amount of time. So it's really a decent value. So don't let the size fool you. You can definitely get good use of it. And again, I used it. I put it on each night before going to bed. Now, if you use it more often or for something else, it may not last as long. But just uh, using it once a day 
it lasted me for a good while. Um, next up on my list, of course, you know I'm not going to have any kind of list um, that doesn't include a Fenty item, at least one Fenty item. And so next up is the Fenty Beauty Butter Drop in the Warm Cinnamon. That is my favorite of the butter drops. It's the Warm Cinnamon. Um, I like them all, love them all, and I have them all. But the Warm Cinnamon, something about it just hits for me. So it's actually on sale right now for $32.20. And so I was looking at adding that to my collection just to have another one. Um, they typically were seasonal, but I don't know if they just had more that didn't sell or maybe they just didn't sell like they did before. Um, but they are still in stock. And so I'm taking advantage of that. I already have like three and I don't care. And that is the full size um, of it. Next up, we have the, the Nest Lychee. Um, the Nest Lychee Rose uh, Travel Spray, uh, EDP Travel Spray. So that runs um, for $32. And this is actually a scent that I've seen quite a few people. Um, a lot of the YouTubers I follow, they have mentioned this particular fragrance. Apparently, the Lychee scent uh, is going to be, it's in a lot of fragrances. I've seen a few different brands release a new fragrance with that as the featured note. So I want to give it a try. I actually did go into Sephora and try it. And I like the scent. So I do see why people were loving it. And so I'm just going to grab the travel spray for 32 bucks because I have so many fragrances like I mentioned in the past. I typically stick with travel sprays um, right now and I don't buy full size bottles unless it's something that I really, really love. And I know I'm going to be reaching for like all the time or at least on a consistent basis. Next up, we have the K-Skin Owl Lip Balm, and I have actually tried this product before. I had just the original, which is just a clear um, lip balm, and this time I want to get the color one. I don't think when I made my initial purchase that the colors were available, so now she's made like a, two or three different colors. So I want to go ahead and pick up the Bad Gal Bent, I think it's Bad Gal Berry, um, color it's $15 each one is $15 so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one and I might re-up on the original as well because sometimes when I'm just around the house I just like to keep something on my lips and it also makes a good one for sleeping in as well um very moisturizing I know a lot of people talked about the tip it feels really nice because it's almost like a nice jelly tip but for some reason after a while it just like I don't know if it gets clogged or what but the slit just messes up and then you have to like squeeze it all kinds of crazy ways. Mine did that near the end, but I'll still get the product out, you know, in a decent way where I was still able to use it uh, effectively. So I don't know what it is about those tops, but I've seen a lot of people say that and I had that same experience, but the product itself is still good and I'm going to try another one. So one or two. And actually, that'll be one of the items if... You know, sometimes when things get sold out, if something else is sold out, I may just double up and get another one as well. Next up, we have the Sol de Janeiro um, Brazilian Crush um, 71 spray. And this is the three ounce for $24. Now, I never thought that I would be a Soul girl. Now, I, I know it's super popular. I do have the original um, perfume, like the original scent in the perfume, and I've had the Bum Bum Cream, but it wasn't anything that was super impressive. Like, the creams for me are not super moisturizing, um, not to the point where I would, like, go out and buy the big ones. I got the small ones through, like, uh, free samples and other things like that, but in terms of having it, like, it's not something that would make me run out and buy it especially for the price point of it however i did manage to get my hands on one of the body sprays and i actually really like the brazilian crush scent um it has the caramel i think it's um oh, i should have that down i think it's like toasted caramel and like marshmallows or something like that but the uh, macadamia nut and like uh caramel it gives a very summer beachy vibe like that's what I think of when I put it on like I feel like you know when you put on like your cocoa butter and shea butter and then you add in that little, just that nutty scent and I guess that's the macadamia nut in it and then you have a little bit of sweetness from like the caramel I absolutely loved it so it reminds me of something I would definitely take down to the beach and like spray on and have around or just in the summertime because it gives those kinds of vibes so it comes in two different sizes but the three ounce is 24 bucks and that's the one I think I would get 
Um, I really loved it when I tried it and I was pleasantly surprised and actually it had a pretty decent longevity for a like body spray. So I think it's worth it. Um, and again, just add into my collection. So I'm going to add it. I did also try, I can't remember which scent it was, but it's the one that's in kind of like the um, reddish color, not the pink one, but like the red um, bottle. I like that one too. And the lavender, that new scent, it smelled pretty good. I don't know if it's one that I necessarily would gravitate toward, but I wouldn't be mad at it. Like if somebody gifted it to me, I would definitely wear it. So I do love the sprays. The the creams, not so much, but the sprays, definitely I could see myself, you know, adding those to my collection over time. Um, next we have the Hydro Maniac. Um, and if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my list just to make sure I don't forget anything is the Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrating uh, Hydrating Foundation, and that's from Urban Decay. That runs for $35, and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's a very light tinted um, moisturizer. I have worn it a few times. I'm actually going to um, link a video at the end. It's just a short little snippet of me wearing it where you can see once I've applied it and just kind of see what it looked like on my face. But you can also see me here with it on as well. Um, I did a very light coat with it. So um, it's not full coverage. It's just a um, very nice, just a smooth, for me, it's just like a smoothing out, evens out everything. So that's why I like it. My color is number 70. So if you feel like you are around my skin tone and you're wondering, um, they do have a skin tone finder or whatever. I use my Fenty color to figure out my Urban Decay color. And so it was 70 and it seems to be a good match. Um, and again, that runs for $35. I initially bought it from Ulta when they were having like a complexion sale or something. So it was like 30 or 40% off when I got it. So I never paid full price for it. And I might just get a second one to re-up. I have the skin, the Fenty skin tint, and it's a similar situation in terms of coverage and all of that. So it's a, it's just a liquidy um, foundation, tinted hydrating foundation. And again, I am a combination T-zone uh, oily skin whatnot person so just in case you're wondering like how does it work I felt hydrated when I wear it I will say I typically don't put on moisturizer so when I do my um, facial routine in the morning my skincare I just cleanse and put on a facial toner and then I put on the hydrator instead of putting on my moisturizer just because it does have enough moisture to keep me from being dry. And if I, I found that the couple of times I did try it with the moisturizer and without, and when I did put it on, on top of moisturizer, it made me, it seemed to get a little bit oily quicker. So that's just for me, what worked, what worked and didn't work for me. But you could, I would say definitely try it out either way and just depend. Um, also, I think in the winter time, I'd be okay if I did the moisturizer in this because my skin gets drier. But in the summertime, I just need one or the other. Um, next up, we have the Forever Mood Fragrances. Now, for those who don't know, Jackie Ina, who is an influencer, she has been doing her thing in the makeup world on YouTube for years, and she's been coming at us with first the candles, and now she is dropping, she dropped four new fragrances, um, and I want them all. Go ahead and put that out there. But of course, when it comes to new stuff, especially when you don't necessarily have the chance to get a sniff of it first, um, I like to start off with my travel sizes. Although reading the notes, there are a couple of them, if they smell like the notes say, then I'm probably going to want the full size bottles. And honestly, the prices on her fragrances, I don't think are bad at all. The travel size sprays are $28 a piece. I am debating if I just want to buy all four if they're available because I keep seeing some of them are starting to sell out. So I'm like, here we go. Um, but eventually I may end up buying all four. But she also has a discovery set, which is the last thing on my list here, that is $24. So you can get a little um, sample size of all four cents for $24. So either one um, will work for me. I just want to get my hands on something so I can get a whiff. Um, and last but not least, even though we are not able to start shopping with our discount for rewards members, the Sephora stuff, the Sephora collection is already 30% off and that is open to everybody right now. So you can actually shop the Sephora collection right now for 30, with 30% off 
And Sephora actually makes some good products too. So, you know, it's a Sephora brand, store brand, but they do have some good things. And a lot of people rave about their brushes. So I would say if you're in the market for new, um, you know, makeup brushes, then this would be a great time to pick them up. So I highly recommend it. Um, they do have a really good blush as well that I saw. I didn't purchase it, but I've seen a couple of YouTubers that really like some of them and they have purchased the blushes. So blushes, brushes, and um, maybe even some of their basics, like, you know, um, just a lip gloss or something like that. If you just want to have something to throw in your purse, not necessarily your fancy, but just something so that you have something on your lips or maybe on those days when you're hanging out around the house or just somewhere where you want to have something on, but you don't want to use like your, your Fenty or, you know, something else that's like a little bit pricier than the Sephora brand. Um, but you still want to look cute or just want to have a nice moisturizing gloss or color on your lips. So I would definitely recommend checking out the Sephora collection as well. And for 30% off, we cannot beat that. And I also love their wipes. Um, so if you like the makeup wipes in the market for those, also check those out as well. So those are my recommendations. What's in my car, what I plan on buying. Um, again, this is assuming that all of these items will still be available when I come up to bat. And of course, I will share with you guys like the items that I pick up once. I do actually get to the sale point um, and we'll have another haul video. But let me know down below like what you guys are looking forward to grabbing at the Sephora sale. And also, where do you stand? I noticed, I think this is the first year that they did the, or the first time that I can remember, that they gave access to the VIB and insiders at the same time. It used to be staggered where it was Rogue and then VIB and then Insider. So I'm very curious about that and, and wondering when that changed because I feel like this is the first time that's happened, um, which is actually good for the insiders because you kind of get left last on the list because it used to be like a two to three day window between each one. So if you are an insider, other people have had almost a week in advance to get their hands on things so you know and I have been in that situation you know your chances of getting some top tier things that you that are highly desired that you may want will likely be sold out so I do like the fact that they are you know giving everybody or giving a little bit earlier access for us peasants who are not rogue members yet but either way let me know what you guys plan on picking up Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And also make sure that you are on the lookout for my haul video um, probably within the next couple of weeks. See you next time.